What is up guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to Bank Holiday Monday. Um, it is my squat day today. I've got 255 kilos for a single. Uh, and we're training somewhere slightly different. So we've come down to Swindon to train at Sh Pro Strength and Fitness. Uh, so I've not been here before, but I have seen it on Instagram. It looks like an awesome gym. And I'm gonna be training with my mate, Jason, who I attempted 300 kilos with uh, a few months back. So it'd be nice to catch up with him. I think he's got a very heavy set of deadlifts to do. I think he's doing 275 for a triple, which is what I'm aiming to do in a few weeks time. So that'll be really cool to see. So let's get into the gym because I'm absolutely dying for a piss. Yeah. It is quite busy for a bank holiday. First impressions though, very nice gym. Alright, fun little mobility warm up. Just gonna uh, get under the bar, work our way up, see what we can work up to. Just warming up, 100 kilo, feeling pretty good. Straight some warming up. 180. Feeling all right? <laughs> it's okay. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I know that I've got 255 in me. It's just looking stupid. <laughs> it's like failing something and suddenly having 15 massive strongmen staring at me. All right, 140. I've still got to do like four sets, so I do working sets. So I've got 225, 235, 245, 255. So I can't just focus on the main set. Nice. Yeah, I feel fine. Two ten final warm up before getting into my working sets. Yes, all right. All right, come on, Jace. Go on, mate. Be cool. Nice. Can I get an immediate reaction, please, sir? Uh -huh. 225. Then to be followed by 235, 245, and then 255. Good enough. Oh, the, yeah, the bar's a little bit bent. <laughs> yeah, it's moving around a little bit on my back, but yeah. This whipping, yeah. Sometimes you can throw you off. Yeah, get slow it down a bit. Or push back, or yeah. Make sure you're locked in. You look good. It looks smooth. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna feel different. That's all you got. To yeah, yeah, yeah.
the arm rack more than anything. It's like cr like pushing down on my shoulders. I just not walk. See it's bending. Yeah, I know. Thank you, mate. Oh, good. What's that? What? Two five five. I thought you were doing a, a triple. Nah, I'm doing, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing singles, mate. Oh, right. oh single. <laughs> yeah. Well, three singles. No. It's fine. I'm done. Oh. That's it. Two. You didn't need me. <laughs> I, I genuinely thought you were going to do a triple, and I was ready for like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, You're ready to save my life, and I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I had this. I'm good. Good no, it was pretty easy in the end. How are you feeling, mate? Two seven five for a single. Yeah, sure. On a nice bank holiday Monday. Yeah. On a stiff bar as well. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't feel great, but um, oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it felt all right, mate. Uh, like I say, I'm using deadlift bar, um, but you know, you got to adapt to every scenario. So coming in, no deadlift bar. So you just adapt, and okay. as long as it, you know, if it was say 285, 290, I definitely would have probably questioned. You know, when you're in your home, com home comforts, you feel more confident. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think that's a good sign, though, isn't it? The fact that like you can go into any gym really and be confident, knowing you've got 275, like yeah. no matter what. Well, I should, I should really. Yeah, I should. You know, I, I hit 270 for a triple last a, a week ago. So, you know, there's no real doubts there. Yeah, and uh, and obviously, you know. You, you can feel rough or you can travel and shit like that, but it still, it still feels good. That's it. And ultimately, we're here just to have a bit of fun, different gym, yeah. and to meet up. So, you know, the bonus is the fact that we actually managed to get our prescribed sets done. I was just thinking, like, the last time we met, well, the last bank holiday we met up was probably the first time we met. Yeah. Uh, um, athlete. Yeah, yeah. I and, think it was. Uh, you were like, you were like, this is a bit less fun. of a drive for me, though, so yeah. ideal. Accessories than a Mackey's? Yeah. Good. Nice. Like it, like it, like it. All right, a little bit of Benchy Poos. Top set of 132.5, so it shouldn't be too heavy. 120 felt pretty good just then. Get that done, a little bit of close grip, and then do a bit of back work, and then go get some food, I reckon. Nice. So I'm being a very naughty boy and skipping some of my accessories just because I'm prioritizing a McDonald's before heading back to Bristol. And I've already lost count of how many I've done of these. Is that five? Six maybe? I don't know. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go another Big Mac. We are live. <laughs> live. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. It's too busy. So we're just right. going to discuss our our training session, very last minute. We yeah. discussed this at what, like? 11 o'clock last yeah, night yeah. while playing Call of Duty. Yeah. We suddenly decided, let's meet up mm. halfway. Well, the original plan was I was potentially gonna go down and train with you. Yeah, but I but thought then, uh, halfway and uh, try a new gym out. So, gym's yeah. all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of good kit. Um, a lot of big boys in there. Yeah, definitely, even weighing like, say, 120, you feel fucking small. Yeah. These boys are like 150, 160. Like I feel big at the moment, but then I just was dwarfed by guys that are like 150, 160 kilo, like you it's say. That's right, mate. You just, you know, you just got to hit the arms. You, you just keep your, keep your head down and <laughs> crack on. Work, yeah. And um, what's your plans going forward? What are you aiming for? My main goal is my bench. So yeah. I've uh, done the 300 deadlift. I still am pushing for a, maybe a 305 or a 310 if it went miraculously well, but I don't think it... It's not looking too great at the moment, but you just do what you do. That's it. Um, and then bench is my main goal. Here, trying to hit 180 bench. So. Huge. And that'll be a five kilo PB. Yeah, yeah. But you know, um, it's that it's that old. You know, like you've got your your max. You know, say 307 plates. This will be a full plate bench. I think it'll be. It's one of like the many goals you aim for. Like for me, it was 260 squat at the start, and I did that. 300 deadlift and a 180 bench. So it's like one of the three main things that you aim for. I think, isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited in there. Squats are out the window at the moment, so I think I think bench is the next one. Well, you've hit your 300, so why not go for the next one? Yeah, and I feel strong. I hit 170 on Friday, innit? And considering I haven't touched over 160 in three years, yeah. for some reason it, was, it felt quite good, so... Nice. Uh, you know, we can 
So, in order to get that 180 bench, you need to be eating plenty of food. So, I think we I should guess. probably go in uh, go frequent a fast food restaurant. Yep. McDonald's. Namingly McDonald's, yeah. I agree. Perfect. Mackie time. What's the one thing that you notice about Swindon? Like, what's your takeaway from just Swindon? Do you want to know what mine is? What? A fucking lot of roundabouts. <laughs> I would say. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much to it, really, though, is there? Just like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just roundabouts, left, just roundabouts, McDonald's, and a gym. What more so can you, you ask for? Yeah. So All right, let's get into this. I'm actually eating in a couple of hours, so I've only gone for a, a couple of burgers. So are these burgers? They're a joke, aren't they? When you actually like, if you don't look at a McDonald's burger, <laughs> it looks it looks really good, right? And then you compared to you as well. Look at that. Look at that. You versus the guy she says not to worry about. One bite wonder. Mm. How many bites do you reckon you can eat that in? Is that, is that one bite? That's two bites. Mm -hmm. Mad. Well, we had a good session. Look. We rarely meet up, so it's nice to yeah, man. do it on occasion, you know. Yeah, rather than listening to each other rage quit on Call of Duty. Yeah, I like going to different gyms as well. Yeah, do you know what? I think I prefer military gyms. I think when you're well, I don't mind civvy, I call it civvy gym, like I'm a fucking soldier, but when you go to, when you use a, a military gym, yeah. it's just a, it's, it's a different environment, it's not as intense and there's like, um, you know, like, fucking, uh, like people groaning yeah, and yeah. lifting heavy, but the only thing I will say, like, compared to a commercial gym, I know you did a video on this the other day, mm. but like, the military gym, you just crack, everyone just cracks on and does what they've got to do. No one's sitting on their phones, no one's mm. chatting away. Like, you chat, but you just kind of have a little chin chat and then chit chat and then crack on. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, commercial gyms, yeah, they're quite, you know, like, as you say, like, people just go there just to get out of the house and probably do, you know, yeah, whatever. But that sort of gym today, obviously, everyone's working hard, and but they just keep themselves to themselves. It's yeah. kind of like a different environment completely. There's pros and cons to all of it, really. That's interesting, because obviously I did the comparison with commercial gyms and independent gyms, like the gym we've just been to, mm. but I've never oh. experienced a military gym. Oh. Right there. That's the gym I'm used to now. Yeah. I've been to bodybuilding gyms, I've been to powerlifting gyms. But, um, to be honest, like, I think I'm happy just training around. Because, you know, when you train, it's who you surround yourself with as well. Yeah. If you went to a commercial gym, you're the strongest guy or you're the biggest guy. Personally, I think there's only so much you can get from that. Mm. So you do definitely need to feed off other people how you train as well. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So in lockdown, it was hard. Tough, yeah. I found that really hard training during lockdown, especially like obviously the equipment as well that you're training with at home and stuff. And oh, like yeah. well, ask, fair, I, I, asking your family members to spot you and stuff, you know, it's not right. ideal. I remember benching my dad spotting me Mm. Oh my god, that was risky <laughs> business. Yeah. And then my cats obviously spotting me. <laughs> Side two spy spotters, do you know what I mean? Mm. Got it done though. Mm. Strongest spotters in the game. Mm. One thing I'll say about lockdown is that it ta I taught me to lift by myself and have no one around me and just get on with it. Mm. And that, I think, has helped. Because mm. now if you were to go to a gym by yourself, not know anyone, similar to today really, obviously yeah. by ourselves, you can still get the work done and not have to rely on external. I, no, I, I agree with that, and I, I did notice that as well because I think it really shows who's super dedicated to the gym and who's not. Like when it came to lockdown, some people like use it as an excuse just to do nothing and laze around and like oh, I'll sack it off. But the guys that really wanted to continue with their training mm -hmm. were the guys looking at marketplace to try and get benches in and yeah. bars and try and set up something. But I think that's probably more not necessarily to do with dedication but it's also to do with like I think the mental health side of training and like the need to have that gym routine and I, that's obviously one of the biggest takeaways I've had from Covid was like if I didn't have any sort of training like that I think it would have like driven oh, yeah. me potty so I was fortunate enough to be able to get some equipment in. Oh, yeah, I, spent, I spent a grand on mine. I think, Ridiculous. I, I, think I spent similar yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting noise. Let's throw back to when we met up last time and you choked on that fucking 
Do you remember that? What did I choke on last time? Oh, you choked on something and it was fucking hilarious. <coughs> I normally choke at the end of Call of Duty games. I usually choke when I'm scranning arse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Matt. <coughs> yep. If you could have a squat, bench or deadlift session with one lifter or bodybuilder or power lifter or, or any athlete, who would you train with? Dead or alive? Either. I don't know why I asked that because the person I'm thinking of is alive, but probably Dan Green because I think Dan Green was one of the first power lifters that I started watching when I first got into power lifting and like watching YouTube. Mm. So probably Dan Green, but I have met Dan Green. Yeah, I've met him too. Mm. I haven't trained with him, but he's a very quiet guy. And oh, yeah. you know what they say about don't meet your heroes? I, I felt similar when I met him. He was a really not, he was polite. Yeah. Which is always... But just very thing, right? quiet. Like very... Probably just, it, it maybe just doesn't deal with well with like expos and like meeting a load of people. You've got to ma imagine meeting like thousands of people in one day. It's fucking yeah. exhausting. It's not his job ultimately. His job no. is to lift weights, so... Yeah, I understand that. But probably Dan Green or it's got be, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, isn't it? Like, can you just imagine him spotting you on the bench or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice. <laughs> what about yours then? Who's, who would yours oh, be? Mate. So I got into powerlifting in like 2016. I'm trying to think who that so era like, for was. For me, I think the, the one who had the most impact on me, like to really amp me up and train, was Larry Wills. Yeah. Now, I get that's kind of like a cliche standard answer, but, but his intensity, in his prime, yeah. Him and Black Tom Cruise was his name. Yeah. Obviously, rest in peace. Um, yeah. Like watching them and, like, say you had uh, Steve Gentile, who. Yeah. Barbell PT, is it PT something yeah, fitness? Yeah, uh, something like that. Is that his and, name? Um, on Instagram. I'm watching them with like Mark Bell and all that lot and Bob yeah. Brigade. When I went Silent to, Mike. Yeah, I met Silent oh, Silent Mike. Um, he was really cool. I did like a seminar thing with him actually. What, you ran it? No, he ran it. And, oh, I was gonna, and you yeah, attended yeah, it? I, I ran it naturally. Yeah. But, um, Please welcome Jason Bowles. <laughs> you know, uh, I think that sort of era for me was pretty mm. pretty important. Bark, um, Bark Kwan even like not necessarily yeah. the strongest guys, but just had a lot of influence, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. When I went to LA, when I went to Barber Brigade, I watched a 800 pound squat, and I just maxed out my squat, and it was like 195. <laughs> Mate, I hit the 195 in about five minutes later. Someone squatted 800 pounds, and I was sat there like. So I'll just leave the gym now. Yeah. So, but those sort of gyms are a great environment. All right, pretty good, pretty good answers. I like that. I like cool. that. Well, it's been fun. It has been, right. <clears throat> I've got to head back to Bristol now, and I've actually got food again in a couple of hours, so, yeah, this was a nice little mm. snack before that. But, yeah, it's been awesome meeting up, man. I'll probably talk to you tonight on Call yeah, of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Nice. Yep, thank you for featuring me. It's been a blessing. Yeah, all good, and, all good. Uh, good luck on your squats, mate. I think you're going to smash it. Thank you, mate. Yeah, that'll be next week, so tune in next week. Yeah. Bye.